Hello everyone, this is Amanda with Big Empress Energy. I am here to do a love reading for all single Virgos. So Virgo could be your sun, moon, or rising signs. Your Venus could be in Virgo, um, or just any other important placement in your chart. Um, and if this reading resonates with you, please like and comment to claim the reading. Um, and if you like the way that I read, please subscribe to my channel. I'm a very small channel and I'm just getting started, so every little bit helps. Okay, so we have foundation here, Virgo. Um, security, family, and established. Now, based on your last reading, Virgo, I got the if this is the same energy, you know, I'll find out the further we get into it. But if this is the same energy, I got that you were single. Um, and whoever you were with last really hurt you. And they misled you. They led you to believe that it was, um, that they were committed, that they had the things to offer that you were looking for. But they didn't really. And they were a very lost soul um, who was hurt, was hurting, and therefore hurt you and others um but virgo with this i'm getting the message that you are moving on um you're moving on to look for what you truly want um and what i will say virgo is in the last reading it was basically all from your angels that i was channeling um because they just wanted you to know how protected you were and that the love that you have coming in is the kind of love that you want it is secure it does have a strong foundation. It will lead to uh, strong commitments, those kinds of things. And it's going to feel unbelievably good. Um, and, and I mean, that was the message. Um, what else can you tell me about my single Virgos at this time? Where are they at? Who might be coming towards them, please? Who's coming toward my single Virgos? This time. Ooh. My single Virgos. Time. Yeah. In the last reading, we had death as well, and I mean, this is, that's cycles. Um, that's what death represents, is the ending bringing in something new, a new season. Um, and Virgo, uh, essentially, they're saying, um, you know, work your way through this cycle, heal from what happened with that person, um, but, but the kind of love that you're looking for is coming in for you. Now, Virgo, I also get that, you know, there's a level of impatience with this, the way that this man is looking at his watch. Um, I get that you have been hurt repeatedly in Connections, Virgo, who I'm reading for. Um, and I'm getting that you're a little bit in the position of, will I ever have that? Will that kind of love that I want ever really come in for me? And your angels right now want me to tell you that it will and that you're nearing that, Virgo. You just have to continue to focus on healing, continue to focus on raising your vibration, and continue to focus on the kind of love that you want, um, because that's really what's going to bring that in. Oops. Yeah. Releasing. Look at this. Yeah, they want you to, they want you to let this go. Work on healing this. Work on moving on. Um, and, and walk away from, from who hurt you, Virgo. Because there is something so much better coming in. Again, this energy feels so, like, loving. It's it's your angels, Virgo. I love this. What else, please, spirit guides and guardian angels for my single Virgos? What other messages? Finality. God. All of this is about moving on. Um, yeah, there... Now, there was another message in the last reading. I'm going to link it at the end because this just seems like a continuation of messages from your angels from that reading that I just did. Um, but they, they're asking you to choose yourself and to leave behind that connection because they know that there's something better coming in. Again, you have train tracks here. I don't know if that's significant. Maybe you live by train tracks. Maybe the person that's coming in lives by train tracks. I don't know. Uh, maybe you'll have to travel to meet this person. Um, maybe they're going to be new in town, having just moved or having traveled. Um, yeah, maybe you could be at a distance from this person. But what, regardless, what they're asking you to do, Virgo, is to look towards the future and to try to move on from the past because you need to leave that behind because they 
keep telling me, they keep stressing that there's something so much better coming in for you really soon, Virgo. You just need to focus on healing and leaving behind um, the, what happened in that past connection. Um, now, what I was saying in that last reading, there was a message from your angels that said that they were going to bring in closure um, for you. They were going to come in and unveil the truth, what, what you didn't see. Because I get that that last connection, you know, a lot of it was really shocking and sudden. And um, basically your angels were saying, like, you might not understand why everything happened the way that it did then, but that understanding is coming in. And then with that understanding will come a new connection that's going to tick all of your boxes for go. It's really, really beautiful. Um, okay, let's look at the bottom of the deck here. Oh, hopeless. Yes. See, this is what they're saying. Um, focus on getting out of the low vibration of pain and hurt. And I know it's not easy, Virgo. I talked about it in the last reading. I'll talk about it in this one. Um, I am a Virgo. Um, and I have been coming out, I, I think I'm a little further along in the healing process than the Virgos that I'm reading for here. Um, and I think there's a reason behind that, Virgo, because the hurt that I went through is what uh, was just a catalyst to me doing this and deciding to live the life that I wanted to live. Um, but where you're at, Virgo, is where I was at just a few months ago. Um, and essentially your angels are saying... Um, there is hope. Don't lose hope. Um, the, in your last reading, you know, I asked for some advice for healing and the main advice that they gave was remain open to love. Don't let what happened, um, uh, harden your heart. Don't let it, uh, stop you from, from being open to love essentially because Virgo, they have a plan. They have a plan for something really beautiful coming in here. And again, I mean, they're stressing like what you need to do at the very heart of this reading is finality, which is closure. So they're saying, you know, be patient, wait for the closure, wait for the healing process to be done um, because this new connection is coming in and, and you want to be right for that connection. You want to be in the right headspace, the right place, the right heart space. Um, and so Virgo, I just, you know, they're just saying like, feel the feelings, um, try to find closure even if that person that hurt you didn't give you that um and and focus on moving on keep looking towards the future um and don't let your heart close keep it open what else please for my beautiful single virgos what else please for my single virgos because i got you Woo! okay I they want me to take all of these mistakes. Lost soul. This is your closure, Virgo. Uh, I think I think it'll come in and, and they'll have your angels will have more clarity for you. Spirit's going to unfold it when you're ready. Um, what truly happened? What truly caused that connection to crumble? Um, and it was a tower moment for for you for sure. It was sudden. It was shocking. Um, it was built on a, on a lie, that connection, Virgo. But what they're coming in um, to offer you is is closure on the fact that, yes, you were this person made you a victim. Yes, they, they hurt you. They were selfish. They were childish. Um, but this person hurt you because they're a lost soul. Um, I picked up that they're a young soul. So this is one of the first lifetimes they've lived. Um, and Virgo... Please don't think I'm crazy when I say this, but Virgo, I think, you know, the reason you felt this soul tie with this person is because you had a soul contract. Um, before you two um, reincarnated on Earth, um, this was a really young soul, Virgo, and you're a very old soul, and you agreed to, um, you, you agreed on something, you had a soul contract for you to come in and... Um, help teach this person how to love um this this young soul you want you were meant to help them mature um to some degree you know as much as you can in this short connection in this lifetime 
You know what I mean? Um, you have a soul contract, so you very well could have this person again and again in, in more lifetimes if you want that, Virgo. But you did your part. I see that wholeheartedly. Um, and your message, your, sorry, your angels gave me that message. Um, so, so they want you to know that. I think there's still more coming in that will be cleared up for you, Virgo. But I see that your, your angels and your guides really, it's, it's your angels. Your angels really want you to know, um, that, that you did your part, you did the best you could, and that they're bringing in healing for you, um, because, because you helped teach this lost soul. Um, you were a catalyst in them um, beginning to look inward and their soul and beginning to, um, okay, so in the last reading, I'm sorry, Virgo, not to keep talking about a different reading, but in the last reading, um, this person I picked up was a lost soul, was a young soul, and I picked up that um, they did not have a strong sense of self. They didn't really know who they were. And you entering their life in this connection unfolding the way that it did, Virgo, um, helped them identify the person that they want to be and how the decisions that they made in your connection doesn't align with the person that they want to be. So truly, you are helping this person grow at a soul level, Virgo, but you're doing so by walking away, by moving on, um, because this connection was important for this person to um, separate from you. That It's an important part in, in what's happening between the two of you. Um, now, Virgo, um, they just want you to know that you're loved and protected and that the kind of love that you do want is coming in. It's coming in and you have to find closure. Um, I'm almost shaking from this energy. You have to find um, closure with yourself. You have to choose self-love and self-respect and understand that you did all you could do and, and work to, to heal and to move on from that. Um, your other cards past life yes oh my god why am i i'm not the least bit surprised that this came out it was karmic lessons for both of you um i can't believe this came out <laughs> because it's literally what i was just saying virgo this was someone that you had a soul contract with you agreed to come in and help them learn who they were and help them learn how to be um how to express love, how to love more purely. Um, and you were taught, you were put on this earth. <sighs> Virgo, you're a healer. I'm sorry, they're giving me energy and it's hard to find the words for it. Virgo, they, they told me this in the last reading, you're a healer um, and, and you agreed in a, I'm shaking, <laughs> I'm sorry. You agreed in, in a soul contract with this young lost soul that you would come in and help heal their heart and you would teach them how to love and you would teach them who they are. You would help teach them who they are. You know, obviously they're going to meet other people who also help them with that, who also, um, agreed upon that. But Virgo, they helped, um, they helped you narrow down more specifically the kind of love that you want and the kind of person that you want to be. And they also helped teach you that you are a healer because I don't know if you totally knew that before Virgo but if you didn't know that now you know that's I mean that's why you're here on this earth Virgo is to help heal others um and I I mean you did they just keep telling me your angels keep telling me that you did all that you were supposed to do in that connection and now you can let go now you can release it um the last connection I got that for some of you, it was a twin flame connection. Um, they got the running card and the chasing card came out as well. Um, the lesson in this Virgo is that you are not to chase this person. Um, because they have to learn, um, cause and effect. Their soul still needs to learn, um, the kind of person that they don't want to be so that they can learn the kind of person that they do want to be Virgo and you chasing them, uh, would really throw a wrench in that, I think. Um, so they, you know, they're, they're telling you to not chase love to attract it. They're telling me that very strongly. Um, don't be impatient. Don't be impatient. I know that's easier said than done. I hope, 
me channeling these messages doesn't make you mad at me, Virgo. But they want you to know that it's coming in. They want you to know that they have a plan with all of this. Like, this was all predestined. Like I said, like, this... I don't know. I usually don't... I am a firm believer in, like, free will and that not everything is um, mapped out for us before we're put on Earth. But there are some soul contracts and there are some things that we agree in each lifetime to come in and learn. Um, because the whole point of living is about expansion. But I'm not going to get... I'm not going to go off on a tangent about that, Virgo. But this was predestined. That's why I don't usually say that. Um, you know, I'll say there's a soul tie or that kind of thing. But there was a soul contract. You came in to help this person. Um, you came in to help heal them. Help at least kickstart that healing in this lifetime. And Virgo, you're going to get your karma for that. You're going to get your good karma. I promise. Um... <laughs> sometimes I scare myself a little bit um yeah <laughs> they told me to put this under this person oh my god Virgo I know it's not funny I know how bad this hurt you I know how bad this hurt you um I just their energy is so loving right now it's like making my heart light um it almost makes me want to cry tears of joy for you, Virgo, because you have so much love coming in. You have you have done your part. They keep saying that, Virgo. You've done your part. You're going to get your your good karma. It's coming in for you. Um Okay. <laughs> what else, please? For my beautiful single Virgos. What else, please, for my beautiful single Virgos? You know what, Virgo? I'm also going to link the, the, not the last love reading I did just before this one, but the one before that. Um, I think I titled it like good karma for you choosing you like Virgo this. Yes, this is my hermit card in the 78 card deck. Um, yes, 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 yes. You're single. You are choosing yourself. Virgo and because you're choosing healing um, and because you helped heal this soul because you held up your end of the soul contract Virgo um, your good karma is coming in and you're going to get the love that you deserve Woo! it's <laughs> it's invigorating <laughs> um, what else please for my single Virgos spirit guides and guardian angels God, your angels have such a loving and healing energy right now, Virgo, and they just want to stress that you're a healer. You have to walk away, Virgo. This person, now in the last reading, I picked up that this person might have even gone cold on you, might have ghosted you. In my circumstance, I was ghosted um, almost six months into the connection, and we were working to blend our families. Um, and then, you know, I just haven't talked to him since. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I know that that was a part of my soul contract with him. Um, and it's, it was a catalyst for what I'm doing right now. I wouldn't have done this if that hadn't have happened because I wouldn't have leaned into spirit the way that I did. And then spirit, you know, they've been giving me the message for a long time to start this tarot channel, to, to help heal others. Um, and to, and to uh, the messages that I get, not just through tarot, but I get messages um, they told me that I need to put myself in a position where I can give that to others all over the world. And so I did that because I was, because I had connected deeper with spirit. And in the last reading I said, you know, I would have, I wouldn't be here right now. Um, possibly even on this earth, if I hadn't had leaned into my spirituality, because it was such a dark point because this hurt so bad. And Virgo, just know that I empathize with the pain that you're going through right now. But again, you are going to get the kind of love that you deserve because you held up your end of the soul contract. And now what you're supposed to be doing, what your angels are urging you to do is to heal and release that. I mean, so many cards about releasing this um, because you have to clear out all of that old negative energy to, to let the new love come in. Um, yeah. Couple of messages with this Virgo. Um, 
couple of messages. I knew and picked up in the last reading that whoever this is that hurt you, Virgo, will come back. Um, because they're going to realize that they made a lot of mistakes, whatever, you know, you brought a lot of healing and love to that connection into that person's life. And they were so, you know, they're such an immature soul. They're so lost, um, in their way in this lifetime that, you know, they, they made those mistakes and they ran away and they did all kinds of, you know, hurtful things. But, um, Virgo, so a couple messages with this, this person is watching you. Um, if you have any kind of a social media platform, just, you know, if you don't want them to be watching you and even just for your own healing at this time, block that person, you know, it's okay. It doesn't mean you're mad at them. It doesn't mean it, it's not going to look petty. I promise it's, it's healing. It's healing. Um, like go ahead and block that person for yourself. Um, or just stay off of social media. That's <laughs> just from someone who cares about you, Virgo. Um, it's one of the healthiest things you can possibly do. Um, but also with this message is, um, if you are um, looking at this person's social media, and you might not be, this message is not going to be for all of you. <clears throat> but if you're looking at, let's say, old texts or old emails between the two of you, or you're looking at their social media, and, and we all know that, that social media, we, we present ourselves differently on social media than we truly are. Um, so this person might look like they're doing great, <clears throat> and they've completely moved on, and it's only going to hurt you if you're looking at that. So that's another message. That's not going to resonate with all of you, but somebody, um, their angel is here, and they wanted me to say that, so I'm saying that. <clears throat> What else, please, for my single Virgos? What else, please, for my single Virgos? I got some great angels for this for my single Virgos. I got some great angels for this for my single Virgos. Mm, soulmates, this is what I was saying, Virgo. This is what's coming in. And in the last reading, the energy was so similar. Um, in this side was what you thought the connection was on this side in the last reading, um, because the last reading was all about what happened with this person. Um, this reading is all about you, Virgo. Um, yes, they are saying in this side and this reading as well, if you are able to, um, do all of this, um, because this is the process to healing, if you're able to do this. Um, this is who's coming in for you. True soul family, true security, um, a true strong foundation, a true soulmate, true love connection, Virgo. Um, but you got to heal and you have to um, release this, this person. Um, okay. Open heart. That was your advice in the last reading, Virgo. Do you do, remain open to love? I'm taking that. Virgo! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is, uh, this is 100%. This came out in the last reading. This is what your person did. They were avoidant, they were immature. We've established, they're a very lost soul. Um, they're saying that you need to be self-focused. Um, you need to focus on self-growth, healing, opening your heart having empathy for this person from a distance because they're so lost, because they have no sense of self at this time. Um, and Virgo, just know that it was, again, it, it was, yes, they, they might have rejected you, but um, their rejection was protection from your angels, 100%. Um, let's clarify with the tarot. Ooh. Spirit guides and guardian angels, what can you tell me about my single Virgos right now, please? What can you tell me about my single Virgos? Ooh. Yeah, their energy is like <laughs> crazy. Um, hi, priestess. Oh, Virgo. Um, so you could have Pisces placements in your chart. Um, like my, my moon is in Pisces. 
um, you could have been dealing with a Pisces or this soulmate coming in could be a Pisces for you, Virgo. Um, but more than anything, they're saying, you know what this connection was and you know that you need to leave it behind and you need, this was such a strong message in your last reading. Like I went off on a tangent about it. That's like a 50 minute reading. I'm so sorry. You feel free to skip through it, but it just, it's, it's everything that they said was so important. I had to keep reading the messages. And with this, they're saying, Virgo, that you have to lean into your spirituality. Like, look at this. You, this is going to um, catapult you into, like, like, I know that you're spiritual, Virgo. I know that you're spiritual. I know that you're an old soul. I know that you're high vibrational. Um, but they're saying that, that you need to lean further into your spirituality because they have messages for you. Because you're a healer. Um, and, and they're going to tell you how to do that. You just have to silence your mind. You have to listen to the divine. Um, yeah, I know you feel like you got taken advantage of Virgo. I know that this person betrayed your trust. I know how badly they hurt you. Um, and again, Virgo in the last reading, they showed up as this. Now this is Aries. Um, this is. Sorry. Um, yes, Virgo. This person, male, female, any other gender, it does not matter. Um, this person held back how they felt. Um, they were stubborn and they were egotistical. And they thought they were an emperor, but truly they're just a lost soul. Um, but what they're saying here, Virgo, is that yes, this person hurt you, um, but they keep stressing that it's not your job to um, dole out the, the karma, that the universe is going to take care of that. Um, and, and it's very important for their soul growth that they feel that from the universe, not from you, Virgo. You just need to worry about moving on and withdrawing your energy from that connection, okay? Um, keep your boundaries. What else, please? <laughs> this came out in the last reading too, Virgo. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. <laughs> um, yeah, you need to let this die, Virgo, because you are going to be re reborn into, I'm putting, they told me to put this on cycles. Um, this is death and rebirth. You're being reborn into this, into this soulmate connection. You are, you're moving, this was important to awaken you to certain things in your intuition and in your spirituality and it's going to align you with your divine path and because of that you're entering a whole new phase in your life a whole new chapter a whole new season they keep saying that's what this death is virgo the death of this connection marks um a rebirth into something better like so much better um it's going to be different for all of you but I know that there's going to be a strong love, a strong connection, um, and you are going to learn to love yourself, um, to respect yourself. Your soul is going to expand. You're going to meet wonderful people, and you're going to receive the, the love that you deserve, Virgo. Um, but it's, it's opening up to you to, like, it's, it's realigned you with your divine path. Um, and it's going to be a wish come true. Virgo. I cannot stress that enough. Like this is going to be better than you even imagined. Whew. What else? <laughs> please for my spirit guides and guardian angels for my single Virgos, please. Two of wands. Yes. Um, <clears throat> they want you to move on and to, and to find, um, to find, so they're realigning you with your path. And at this time, Virgo, you need to focus on feeling this and tapping into the divine so that you can um, heal, first of all. But because they're going to direct you, you have to be open to those messages. Um, and you're not going to do that if you don't let yourself feel those feelings um, and and um, work. Fo I'm sorry. It's energy. I'm sorry. Okay, keep give it's energy and I have to try to translate it into words. Um, so I get tongue tied. 
apologies. Um, they are telling you to focus on healing your heart. Um, because this, it's, it's all in like divine working. Like there's a plan to all of this. And, um, like in the last reading, they kept telling me predestined, predestined. Um, so Virgo, you need to tap into that high priestess energy, tap into your intuition. And I know you're already intuitive, but tap into that more so now, um, lean into your spirituality because your angels are here for you. They're going to help heal your heart. Um, but also because, um, it's what's going to align you with your path and that path, it's going to have lots of blessings, not just love, but it is what's going to align you with this soulmate as well. Very important messages. Um, yeah. And it's, it's going to be a wish come true. Like we still have the nine of cups here. What else please? Spirit guides and guardian angels for my single Virgos. Single Virgos. Spirit guides and guardian angels for my single Virgos, please. Knight of Pentacles. This is a Virgo card. <laughs> um, this is patience. This is patience with your healing and patience with um, this coming in. Again, this ties right into this card, in my opinion, because the universe has given you that divine gift, that Ace of Pentacles. Um, you and, and more than anything, it's that lesson, I think. Um, and and it's your karma for, for, um, I'm sorry, for, um, holding up your end of the deal, like your soul contract, like you did what you said you were going to do in your soul contract. And therefore the universe is going to come in and offer you many blessings. But, um, they're basically saying, um, you have to be patient. Like, um, they're telling me like, like you have to plant the seed, water it, get it sunlight. You have to be attentive with it um, because because it's a gift. You have to treat it as if it is a gift from the universe. And Virgo, based on your energy, I know you're going to. But there is a message of patience here for you. Because it's not, healing doesn't happen overnight is what they just told me. <sighs> this was your advice, Virgo. In the last reading, they said, do not let your heart close off and this was at what was at the bottom of the deck in the last reading virgo i shuffled these cards like crazy i meditated again before i started this oh my god yes they okay they there is new love that's going to come in for you and they're saying that you have to have the open heart you have to be receptive to that love and the only way that's going to happen is healing and that love is is going to offer commitment it's going to offer everything you have ever said you wanted. So if you wanted to get married and you were determined to get married, that's what this love is going to bring in for you, Virgo. If you want to have children, that's what this love is going to bring in for you. If you just want someone to go on adventures with, someone to be your best friend, that's the commitment that's going to come in for you. It's whatever you have said you wanted, but they're telling me that it's better. It's even better um, because your karma is coming in. Uh, you could also be dealing with a Taurus. I will say that. We have Taurus, Pisces, and Scorpio. What else, please, for my single Virgos? Woo! Hold on. That's too many spirit. What else, please, for my single Virgos? I did just see the Hermit, though. That's Virgo's card. Yeah, it's that soul-finding, soul-searching. This came out in the last reading, too, Virgo. You have to watch that. You have to watch my last two Virgo readings. Um if this resonates with you because it's all tied in. It's all messages from your angels. Um, the six of wands, you will be successful. You are going to come out on top Virgo. You're going to get exactly what you want and you're going to get praise and attention because you stayed in that high vibration. It's, it's so beautiful. You held out, uh, you held, I'm sorry. I need to slow down. You held your, you held up your end of the bargain in that soul contract and the universe is rewarding you times a hundred. Um, yeah, yes, yes, yes. This person was immature. Um, they were in five of swords energy, which is really self-destructive. Um, it's, it's someone who doesn't know how to communicate without fighting. It's someone who sees, um, arguments as 
something that they need to win. Um, it's someone who would rather win an argument than be happy. Um, it's, it's stubborn. <laughs> and, and I get that they, you feel as though, you know, they took advantage of you to some degree, Virgo. Like, they're getting away with it. They're getting away with breaking your heart, is what they're telling me. Virgo, they are not getting away with it. This was planned out. I know it hurts. It's meant to hurt because it's going to teach you your purpose. It's going to lead you to your soul purpose. And the divine needs it to hurt so that you can lean into the divine so that they can guide you to your soul purpose. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, this person is not getting away from their karma. Uh, spirit sees everything, Virgo. What else, please, for my Virgos, my single Virgos? My single Virgos. The lovers. <sighs> okay, Virgo. This is literally, this was going to fall on this one. Virgo, it could be a Gemini coming in for you, or it could be a Gemini that caused this heartbreak that you felt, um, that you felt got away with breaking your heart. They're not going to, Virgo. But here is that soulmate connection. Do you see this angel? Your last reading, nothing but angels in your cards. Um, they, You are divinely protected at this time, Virgo. This is all meant to align you with your soul purpose. And that is when you're going to meet your divine counterpart. That's when you're going to meet this soulmate, this love that you deserve, this love that is of the um, caliber that is right for you, that you deserve, Virgo. Um, again, at the bottom of the deck here. Wow. What else, please? Spirit guides and guardian angels. What else, please? The moon. Okay. This is Cancer and Pisces. So we have quite a bit of water, Cancer and Pisces, um, and then Pisces here, and then Scorpio, um, Virgo, and then we have um, the lovers, which is Gemini. This, they're telling me right now, um, the moon, there is a wild dog or a wolf, and then there is a domesticated dog here, Virgo. And the message in that, um, for me, is that there is a part of us that has an innate knowing, Virgo, and that's, that's the divine. That's your intuition, whatever you want to call it. That's leading you. Um, there's a part of your soul that's like, leading you out there to expand because the purpose of life is expansion Virgo and and it's it's an intuitive thing and it's leading you there but you're not meant to know everything right now Virgo you're not meant to know everything about what happened here and you're also not meant to know about you know who this person is just yet just yet I'm sure when we get closer to them when when you get further along in your healing and then um it, they get closer to coming into your path, to the two of you um, intersecting, your paths intersecting, Virgo, then I'll pick up on it in this reading. I know that I will. Um, they're telling me that I will. Um, <laughs> so when you get a little further along in your healing, Virgo, come back to my channel and look for, look for the title that fits that. Um, but I'm telling you right now, Virgo, you're not supposed to know everything. Behind the high priestess is this water, is this moon, what's happening here. But it's hidden behind this veil um, because you're not supposed to know everything yet. And yes, the moon can be scary, but it is, Virgo, it's the blessings that are coming in for you are insane. Like the what I'm feeling, Virgo, it's, it's better than you could ever imagine. And that's what's coming in. But at the center of this reading, you have to self-reflect and you have to heal. And it's going to take time. But Virgo, you're getting there. Um, you're getting there. Yes. This person hurt you. I know, Virgo. They didn't get away with it. I promise. They're not getting away with it. When you hurt others, you hurt yourself. Okay, Virgo. Beautiful reading. Um... If this resonated with you, please um, like the video or comment below to claim the reading. Um, and if you like the way that I read, Virgo, 
please um, subscribe to my channel. I'm a very small channel. I'm just Virgo out here try, trying to spread the messages that she gets. So, you know, it, it would help support me um, so much, so much. And, I'm, and I, you know, I get a lot of really cool comments. I have met the coolest people since starting this channel. Um, like, it's just the best energy all the time. I get to come on here and hear that people resonate with what I say, that people love me. It's so beautiful. Um, but Virgo, I would love to have you as a part of that family, as a part of that community. Um, but anyways, Virgo, if this resonated, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and if you would like a personal reading with me, I will put my Etsy shop in the description box below. And I will also put my email just in case you want um, to reach out if you have questions, like um, what I would cover in a reading or how long my readings are, those kinds of things. Um, I can answer all that through an email if, if you have questions about it. Um, or if you just want to talk to me, <laughs> feel free to email me. Um, I love you all, okay? Um, and this is, this is beautiful, Virgo. You have so many blessings coming in. But I love you, and I'll see you in the next